Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fill a cooling system using a cooling system vacuum filler. And in my opinion, using a cooling system vacuum filler is the best way to fill a cooling system because it gets 100% of the air out of the system and it's quick and very easy. Now let me just jump in here and clear things up a bit. I don't literally mean 100% of the air is going to be removed from the system, but it's going to be darn close. And also using this airlift system is going to do a lot better job of bleeding the cooling system than just bleeding the cooling system without it. So in my opinion, it's a really good way to do it. I will say though, don't ever disregard your repair manual's instructions on how to bleed your system. I would highly suggest above anything to listen to your repair manual above anything I've got to say. That being said, a lot of repair manuals actually suggest using a system such as this to properly bleed the cooling system. Also folks, it's recommended that the cooling system be totally cool and depressurized before performing this procedure. I didn't go over this in this video because typically when you're vacuum filling your system, you've already done some kind of a major repair or you've drained the cooling system out. So all of that would have been applicable before you even get to this point here. Use caution when removing your radiator cap. Be sure that the engine is cool before you remove your radiator cap. And even then, maybe placing a wet rag over the radiator cap as you remove it and removing it slowly and cautiously can help. Just be careful, guys. So this is what I'm going to be using to fill and bleed the system. And this is a, an air lift or a vacuum filler, if you will. And the way that you use this, you take this little cone here with the, uh, the gauge on it. You place it inside the coolant reservoir like so. Then you take this hose right here and you're going to connect this to that part of the device. Now that that part is connected, the part that has the hose on it, you want to run it on, along the outside of the vehicle here, uh, pointing towards the ground. And then on the other end, you're going to plug in an air hose. Our air hose is connected and you notice that I've got my valve shut so no vacuum is being applied. Okay, now we got our air turned on. Now we're going to open this valve right here. And you can see that needle is starting to drop. We're going to pull a vacuum on the cooling system. I'm going to get it down to around 25. And you'll probably notice that your coolant hoses will collapse on you. That's totally normal. All right. Once you get it to about 25 or in the green zone there, go ahead and shut your valve off. Okay, so our valve is off and it's actually been sitting here for just a little bit and you can see the needle really hasn't moved very much at all and that's a good indication that means you got a good tight system. Now if you do start to see that needle drop that usually means that there's a leak somewhere and if you did a big repair such as a water pump or a coolant hose and you drained your pepcock usually it's been my experience with myself anyway that I've left the pepcock loose so check whatever you've done and make sure everything is tightened up really well make sure you got all your hose clamps on and make sure you didn't leave anything loose so if if that all checks out well then and you don't see anything obvious then you'll probably have to fill the system and then pressurize it in order to locate your leak now if you do have a drop in pressure I would suggest not filling it with your expensive coolant right away go ahead and fill it up with water and once it's filled with water then pressure test it locate your leak and repair accordingly and then you can come back later on with your expensive coolant and fill it correctly so once you let it sit for about a minute or two and you notice that the needle's not dropping go ahead and disconnect all of this leave the head in with the cone leave that part in there but disconnect your apparatus on the outside here all right so we just have the head of the tool stuck in there for right now and we're going to take this hose here which is the hose used for filling the coolant uh, this end right here goes into the gallon of coolant this end goes towards the uh, head of the tool here and i'll go ahead and hook that up okay, so we got our hose hooked up here and the other end of the hose is going into our coolant container and you can see that it's all the way in the bottom there see it moving around there you want it right there now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our valve here and you'll see that it's going to immediately suck coolant into the cooling system. So we are filling at this time. Now 
while that's going on, keep an eye on your coolant level and your jug. Once it gets really close to the bottom there, and you do have the, the hose at the bottom, uh, shut it off because you don't want to start sucking air, okay? So once it gets down around that area down yonder there, I'm going to shut it off. And then I'm going to fill this container back up with some water, and I'm going to chase this concentrate with water. And notice before I take the hose out of the jug, I shut this valve off so that keeps the vacuum held in the system while I go fill up this jug with some water. And you can see I still have a little over 21 in there right now. So uh, we got a ways to go. So I'm going to get some water and then I'm going to proceed to add water to it. So we got our water in the jug there. Let's go ahead and open our valve back up again. And we're going to chase that uh, coolant with just plain water. And you can see that the pressure is dropping pretty rapidly. That means that I'm getting close to full and I may need more than just a gallon of water to fill this up. So I'm gonna shut this off and get, grab some more water. So I got a little extra water there. This is actually gonna throw my 50-50 mixture off. It's gonna be more like 40-60 now, um, but I'm just about full and I don't have any more coolant. So I gotta make do with what I got here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the project with what I got. But ideally, you want a 50-50 mixture. Let me see that this is going down. And your hoses are fat again. And it looks like we have stopped. So now we're full and we just disconnect everything. So we have our coolant filled up. We'll go ahead and put this radiator cap back on, our coolant cap. Well, folks, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. Be happy to get back to you. Also, please read the entire description of this video before you apply any of this knowledge. I may have to clear some things up down there. Please read that. Also, there'll be a disclaimer at the very end. Please read that also, guys. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe.